Hey, what is up guys? This is Cameronelli79 from BOT Gaming, bringing you some tips and tricks on how to not necessarily be better, but to get a higher score and rank up faster in Black Ops 3. Now, my first advice is be conservative. Don't just rush out. I know a lot of people rush. I know that that's the way to get more kills, but also you're going to get more deaths because you're not playing um, smart. You're, not, you're just running out and you're going to get killed. Um... So that's my first advice, um, to, to stay conservative, to stay around walls and corners, stay near them. Um, now they are your friend. Uh, pick around a corner every once in a while and don't be afraid to run back if you have to. Um, you can boost forward towards walls to, um, by holding down B, I mean not B, whatever that's B on Xbox, uh, circle on PlayStation because that's what I play. Um, so you boost forward towards walls to... Uh, Get away from gunfire. If there's a lot of gunfire happening around you or at you, towards you, um, from the enemy team or even your team, because your team can steal your kills, which is not a good thing. Um, but don't be afraid to get assists. Assists are good. Now my second thing is use thermite. The reason that I use thermite is because I can throw it at a certain location, like here on Nuketown. Um, you know, you've got three main directions that you have to leave your area from. Um, you can use it to block off one area so that if, say, you have, like, a whole bunch of people coming from that direction, you can use it to block that off. Um, let's say you have, uh, an objective that they're trying to bring towards your base, like, um, the game mode that I played in this game, in this gameplay was, um, Safeguard? Yeah, 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 that new game mode where you try to push your robot into their base and into their goal circle thing. So, um, I used it multiple times to throw at it, but I didn't necessarily throw it at it because I was attempting to, um, destroy it. I was actually attempting to get the people away from it so that they couldn't progress any farther. Um, you can use it both, both of those ways. You can use it to split up teammates. Um, later on in the video, um, you will see me run off one wall, jump to another, run off, and at that moment, I was really high up in the air, so they didn't even expect me. I threw my thermite in between two players. One split off and went this way. And then another one um, ran and hit behind a wall. I killed that one. And by the time that I turned around, my thermite had already killed the other guy. So you can really use it to progress farther in the game. Um, that's just a couple things. KD does not really matter. Um, I do have a tip about KD, though. If you are, let's say, 20 and 18... Let's just say that. You're you're going positive, yeah, but not by much. You don't want to progress too fast because then you might have enemies behind you. That's the main reason that I die. I know that. Um, so I know you're going to die by that, that also. So what you want to do is um, stay back, stay conservative until you get your KD a little bit farther. You stay back a little bit at the, towards the beginning to get a couple kills ahead uh, so that I know that my KD will be alright. On the screen you can see what class I used, which is the ICR-1. I use this weapon is because really it doesn't matter what really you put on it any attachment you could even run bare bones and you'd be fine I love the gun um, it has low recoil high damage it's a great gun all around and then also on the screen is my score I didn't know exactly what it was so I put it on the screen anyway thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time